Disney Twinkle. I hope you're doing well today. I'm going to be talking to you about STEM. Well, what is STEM? It stands for Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics. But it's so much more than that. It represents a unique approach to education, teaching and learning included in that. By implementing STEM within your classroom or at home, it means that children get the opportunity to apply their skills of science, technology, engineering and mathematics within the wider context and outside the classroom in the real world. The first activity I want to show you is carrying out a line of inquiry. Who doesn't love learning about space and black holes are so mysterious and exciting to children. So for this inquiry, a little bit of fun, I inflated a balloon, I wrapped it in several layers of tin foil. This represents a star. The balloon is its hot burning core and the layers of tin foil are the layers of gas surrounding the core. Now, imagine the star has reached the end of its life and the core has run out of fuel to burn. I popped the balloon with a toothpick. Please be careful and make sure you get an adult to help you with this part. And squash and squeeze the foil layers around the popped balloon. And there you have it. Why not go where the wind takes you, literally? Design, make and evaluate your own kite. As part of STEM, it is really important to plan it out using those communication and negotiation skills and also once you've had some fun with the kite actually evaluate it could you have designed it any better okay i am all up for challenging myself when it comes to stem so for this one i decided to use our stem challenge cards found on the twinkle website and have a little competition with myself, which is the tallest tower. I only made one tower for this because I'm just doing it on my own. You have to make the tower freestanding and it can't be attached to anything. I built my tower out of marshmallows so at the end I could have a little treat. Twinkle has plenty of lesson packs for STEM, whether it be in the classroom or at home. They come with PowerPoints, worksheets, experiments and guidance for you to help your little ones. It's a really great idea to go through the design and technology PowerPoints together as part of the lesson pack. It gives you ideas and discussion points that you can build up together to actually carry out an investigation. Well, I hope you've enjoyed learning about how you can implement STEM in your classroom or at home. That's everything from me today.